How are you feeling? You got Riggs here with another open card surgery. Today's game is Top Secret Episode, Golgo 13. Can I fix it? Let's find out. This game is a guilty pleasure for me. I'm a huge fan of the Golgo 13 uh, comics. Uh, graphic novels, uh, just the character is awesome, and we have a uh, GoGo13. This is the first game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and apparently it's not working. This game was donated from Darren Yu. He actually handed it to me uh, in person at the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. So Darren, thanks for this. Uh, let's see if we can't get it working, right? The old test here. Well, that's something. Something for a whole lot of nothing. All right. Let's open it up and check it out. I believe this is the 3.8 millimeter Star Torx bit. Standard issue. 3.8 millimeter. 3.8 millimeter sounds like one of the rounds that GoGo13 might use in one of his guns or something. Now, you can just clean the pins from here, but I like to open it up just to see if there's anything going on on the inside. And so far, looks all right. Looks a little dirty down there. Hopefully, we could just... Uh, Hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure we can just clean it up and it'll work afterwards, so let's let's find out. Now today, and maybe just for today, I'm going to do something different when it comes to cleaning. Now normally I use these 1UP cards, um, I think they work great. It, if you got a 1UP card, it comes with some of this, you're good to go. Um, you can also use a Q-tip and rubbing alcohol if you'd like, um, and Brasso works wonders. Uh, Brasso is a, uh, it's a brass polisher uh, you can find in the cleaning section of most stores. Um, just that with a Q-tip and um, it'll work just fine. Today I'm going to try using the old-fashioned pink rubber eraser. I don't know the long terms of cleaning your pins with this, but it works. I don't know why, it just does. I'm gonna leave the magic as is. So, to start, I'm gonna try using the pink rubber eraser right on the pins of this board. And you'll see, well it's hard to see from back there, but you'll see that it actually cleans it up. You can use a pencil eraser too. I, mean, I happen to have these on hand. There'll be one less eraser that my kids are gonna go back to school with, but you know. See if it works. Yeah? Well. Let's give it a try. Yep. The old college try. No. Nope. It's like all purple. Jeez. <laughs> this thing. It's taking longer than I want it to, but. We will see. If this doesn't work, then we'll try the uh, well, we'll try the one-up card. We'll try the brass. So everything else looks fine. I'm not supposed to blow on it. I almost did too. Um, now that putting my greasy fingerprints all over it will help any less. I'm a rebel. There. <laughs> blow it on it anyway. Hmm. Hey! Look at this! Ah, love the intro to this game too. This flies along, the helicopter does, and crashes drastically into the Statue of Liberty's armpit. What a way to go, you know? Come on. There we go. Well, not really, you know. <laughs> there it goes! I love it. Oh, what a cool song. All right. Looks good to me. I don't know, what do, we, what do you say? What about you? Darren YU, I thank you for uh, the donation here. If you happen to see me at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo coming up in October, I will bring this game with me. First person to ask for it gets it for free. Just say like, hey, Gogo13, I saw you fixed that game. Do you still have it? Portland Retro Gaming Expo, I'll, I'll be there. I'll have a booth. A couple of panels there as well on how to hack games and as well as the uh, Super Nintendo book coming out soon. And it was all this right here. Pink Eraser. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> now, again, I don't know the long-lasting powers of this. By the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, it might not even work anymore. Um, however... It's another uh, right along there with the uh, rubbing alcohol thing. I got Brasso over here too. Brasso, uh, another option. 
um, and it works. Uh, so maybe if let me know in the comments below if you've done this before and like is there like a deterioration type of thing? I almost think there might be, uh, but I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, I'm so happy too because I was on a losing streak for a little bit with this open card surgery, but Golgo13 got it working again. Darren YU, you rock. Thanks, buddy. Um, if you have a broken game that you want to donate for the good of the cause, if I get it working, if I get it working and you have a YouTube channel, I'll do a giveaway and link to your YouTube channel. Just a little incentive there. Um, my address, my mailing address is in the comments below. And, um, and again, this one here specifically uh, will be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, as well as other games I've fixed in the past, too. So looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, more open card surgeries on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.